External hard drives are the go-to solution for storing large amounts of data, but they aren't perfect. Eventually, something can break or a file on the drive can get corrupted, leaving it unreadable by your computer. After trying the usual solutions, getting your data back can be a bit costly, though there is one free tool that can get the job done with a bit of persistence and the right know-how. Here's what you can try. Before any attempt, if you're trying to extract files from an external mechanical hard disk drive, you want to check for hardware issues. When plugging the drive in, the indicator light should light up, and the disk will hum gently as it spins up. If you hear no sound, see no light, or hear any irregular clicking or grinding noise, unplug the drive immediately to prevent further damage. For hardware damage and mechanical failures, you'll need to bring your hard drive to a professional recovery service. If it manages to spin up normally, or if you're using an SSD, you can attempt to recover your files once it appears on your computer. One great free tool you can use is Test Disk. While it's available on multiple platforms, the easiest way to use it is on Windows 10. Normally it runs through your terminal, but on the Windows version, the developers have included an easier to use program, QPhoto Rec. Just download Test Disk using the first link in the description below, then extract the contents of the zip file to a folder. Once extracted, open the folder, find QPhoto Rec, and double click it. You might get a warning prompt from Windows. Just click See More, then Run Anyway. Once the program itself pops up, select the hard disk you need to recover files from at the top. Then select the partition that contains your files from the list below. If you're not sure, you can scan the entire disk. After that, check your file system type. While the app does a pretty good job detecting this automatically, you'll have to select it manually if you don't see a file system type next to the partition you've selected. Generally, hard drives partitioned for Windows use NTFS formatting, while ones for macOS use HFS+. Linux drives, meanwhile, use EXT4, and external drives use FAT. Depending on the partition you select, you can opt to scan only for deleted files or opt to recover all the files in a partition by selecting either free or whole. If you're looking for specific file types, click on file formats at the bottom of the window. A window will pop up showing you all the file types the program can recover. If you only want to recover a specific type of file, click reset, then find the file types you want to recover from the list and click on the box next to it. Once that's been set, click on OK. The final thing you need to do is set a destination folder for your recovered files. This folder can't be on the hard drive you're recovering from. If you're recovering a lot of large files, we advise you to have a secondary drive plugged in and ready to go. Once that's set, click on Browse to set a recovery destination. Navigate to the folder you want to save your recovered files to in the Finder window that pops up, then click on Select Folder. Click on Search and the program will attempt to recover your deleted files. Depending on the preferences you've selected, recovery may take a good while. Once it's done, you'll find a list of recovered files in the folder you've set. The program might not be able to extract the file's metadata, and your files may be given generic names. You might have to sift through a bunch of recovered files before finding the one you need. If you're more tech savvy and you aren't afraid to use the command line, you can always use the more advanced tool included, Test Disk. Just click on the second link in the description below to learn more. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering file recovery and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.